while you're home tonight, staying warm. For other folks without a permanent roof over their head, this is home. A brown and white pit bull stands guard at the entrance to a homeless encampment on the west bank of the White River just off downtown. It's rough. It's really rough. Um, I mean, we live in a tent. It's snowing, as you can see. Um, it's very cold out here. Especially today, it's like in the zeros. In a neighborhood just the other side of Kentucky Avenue, it's cold too, but a roof and central heating ward off the sub-zero temperatures. There's no such roofs or central heating for the dozen or so people who live just south of the I-70 overpass. I mean, we got a heater, so and we got the big propane tanks, and we get money sent to us from friends, um, so we're able to contain... That'll last us four days, and so we'll have heat for at least four days. Michael Burke says he and his wife won't go into a shelter tonight because they don't want to be split up. Tennessee and Anthony Voorhees are together tonight, but their kids aren't with them. At the moment, they're staying at their grandma's, and that's where they're going to be until it gets fixed because it's too cold here for them. The temperature inside the Voorhees rental home has dipped into the lower 60s since their furnace went out with a gas leak Wednesday, leaving space heaters to warm up a couple rooms and a microwave to warm up their food. We got three space heaters, two in the living room where we're staying, and then we have one in the bathroom, so when we go to the bathroom and the pipes don't freeze in there. We've also kept the water running in all the faucets, so the pipes don't freeze. There's no running water to freeze at the homeless camp on the banks of the White River. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. It's very cold, and people are freezing out here. They're really, I mean, even people that have pets, I mean, this is, this is no joke. Volunteers and advocates for the homeless regularly visit this encampment, trying to entice the folks who live here to come inside out of the cold. Just southwest of downtown, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.